spent pumping breath to really help us with all that exercises. Yeah. So we're going to, if you haven't already, stretch those legs out nice and long and reach the arms back. Take a lovely full stretch here. And then to start to reach your right arm a bit further than your left arm and then switch to the left arm a bit further than the right. Sort of just wiggling up into the shoulder girdle here. Take a few of these. And then we're going to take the interlaced finger lock and push the palm back behind you. So you're going to feel the shoulders flatten out to the floor here. Getting a bit of a stretch in the back of the arms. And then on your next deep breath in, we're going to take a lovely big circle and draw those knees into the chest. So you can cross the ankles, take a few circles there. Just really opening up that lower back. And then stretch the arms and legs up towards the ceiling. Have a lovely stretch. And then switch to the other leg on top for those circles. And then you can switch directions with the circles here as well. So just send them around another way. Nice, everyone. Just find a little bit of stretch in that lower back first thing in the morning. Okay, we'll take a quick twist just to open up the spine. So take those arms out, drop the knees to the back of the room, and just let them fold down there. That's it. So just take a lovely transverse stretch. If you'd like to stretch that top leg a little bit of a deeper stretch, that opposite shoulder really drawing down into the mat. And then gently bend the top knee, squeeze the abdominals and draw those knees back up. Second side, just ease them over, let them fold down. Opposite shoulder really pressing down. And then taking that top leg out if you want a bit of a deeper stretch. Toes tap down and then exhale, we squeeze 
knees and we crunch. So arms come all the way down to the body. That's it. Inhale, deep breath in low. Exhale, squeeze and crunch. Now, if you feel this too much in your neck, just drop your head down. No problem at all. Good. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Nice, ladies. And two. Beautiful work. Good. Last one. Deep breath in. And exhale, hold. Now, hold it here. Circle the arms back behind you. So you've got a big circle back of the head there. And then tap the toes down. And exhale, squeeze and lift. Nice. Inhale, tap down. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Beautiful, guys. Keep that spine pressing into the mat. Imprinting that spine for two more. Last one of these. Good. And hug the knees down. Nicely done. Just take the ball and you can just take it into your hands. Get into those knees. Good job. Really nice work, everyone. Take a moment there. Lovely stuff. Okay, just take the ball to the side. Uh, we're going to use it very soon, so don't let it like, go too far away from you. Just take your feet down. We're just going to open up our right hip before we move on. So as always, we're going to take our basket grip, pull our right knee in, and just take a nice opening into that hip. So just circle that knee around, just warming up that area. And then round the other direction, take nice circles there. Good. Yeah, feel that lower back getting a little bit of a release. Excellent. And then we're going to take the ball and we're going to place it underneath that right little knee crevice there. So you're squeezing the ball in nice and tight. That's it. Take your hands to the back of your head into a crunch posture. And then just draw yourself up into flexion. If it's too much, you can keep your head and chest down. Now we're going to extend our other leg long, hovering a few inches off the mat or to the floor. It's up to you. Deep breath in. Our right toe is going to tap down to the floor. And the next time we squeeze, we crunch up, bring your elbows to touch the knee and back down. Good. Deep breath in. Tap down. Exhale. Squeeze and lift. Inhale. Tap down. Exhale. Squeeze and lift. Good. Three more. Inhale. Tap down. Exhale. Squeeze and lift. And two. One more. Nice. Now hold it up here. Open the elbows. Take the opposite elbow across that knee and back to center. Inhale, squeeze across. Exhale, back to center. Nice, everybody. Squeeze across. We have two more. For two. And last one of those. Nice, everybody. Hold it up here. Reach your arms long. Turn your palms down and find some tiny little reaches. Like you want to touch the bottom of your mat for five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm going to get everything down. Nicely done, guys. Give those feet a tight squeeze. Good job. Just take a breath before we do that on the second side. Pulses, palms down and we hold, pulse, pulse for five, 
four, three, two, good. Reach, reach, reach. And hug everything down. Nicely done, guys. Just take a moment. That's a really strong ab one, so well done. Just breathe there. Come into your frog or just lengthen your legs out long. Whatever feels relaxing for your body. Just take a moment. Really nice work, everybody. Good. Okay, we're going to take the ball now up between the ankles. So kind of those little ankle bones, we want to sort of place it between the ankles there. Yeah. Now, if you can't straighten your legs, do not worry. You can keep them bent like this. Yeah. Also, this is a little bit more gentle version. Otherwise, we're going to try and keep our legs nice and straight. We're going to take the arms up the same sort of direction as the legs, so like they're mirroring the legs here. Yeah. We're going to lower the ball down to the floor, reach your arms back, take a very deep breath in, as low as you can go. And then exhale, we squeeze and we're going to take the ball in between the hands. Deep breath in, you lower. And exhale, we squeeze and lift. Good, deep breath in, you lower. And exhale, we squeeze and lift. Beautiful. We keep that exchange nice and smooth. We've got two more. Deep breathing. Last one. Nice, everybody. Good, good, good. Hold the ball down at the bottom. Reach the arms back. Hold that position for five, four, three, two, one. And draw the knees in. Good job. Take a breath. Very nice work. Good job, really good job. Lovely. Okay, we're going to take the ball now, place it down onto the floor, and take your right foot onto the ball as you would have it normally, just on the mat. So you know how you just have your foot normal? We're just taking the ball underneath that right foot. We're going to do our leg circles with the balancing of the other leg. So it just takes it, makes it all just a little bit harder. Arms, easier version is just placing them down to a T position. If you want to make it a bit more challenging for your balance, you can reach the arms up. So we're going to take our left leg up towards the ceiling. We're drawing that belly in nice and strong, imprinting the spine here. Deep breath in, we're going to lower that foot down to the floor. Big circle and exhale, draw it up. So feel how much harder it is in that ball to stabilize the pelvis. Try to keep the pelvis really squared still. Good. You have two more that direction. Use the inner thigh to lift. Nice. Use the back of those knees working really hard. Now we flex and we're going to reverse. We open out to the side. We scoop around and exhale, draw it up. Try to eliminate any wobbles on that foot. I can feel my foot totally shifting side to side. So try to press down through that foot. Stabilize that posture. Last one of these. Nice, everybody. Good. Now hold that leg at the top. Point the foot. Draw yourself up and take hold of the back of that thumb. Bend in the knee if you need to. Flex the foot on the ball and you're going to push the ball away and then you're going to drag it back in. So we're engaging our hamstring here. Three more times. Deep breath and push that ball away. Now in this position, squeeze your abs down. Really draw your belly in. Yeah, beautiful work, everyone. Really good. One more. Nice. Bring it back in. Hold that position. Now press your foot down into that ball. Bring your hands down. And then just push your bottom up a few inches off the floor. Just a few inches. And we hold for five, four. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> Feel your hamstring working. And release it down. Good job. Hug the knees in. <laughs> good job, guys. Really good. Isn't it interesting those leg circles? Because this, this, everyone in this class, we're so good at them now. How much harder it is with the ball? You have to really squeeze the abs a bit more. But they were really good, everybody. Well done. Just have a breather, have a little refresh, and we'll do that all in the second side. Nice work, everybody. So we're gonna place that ball underneath the left foot now. And yeah, think of really gluing that foot to the floor, to the ball, and then the ball's going to glue to the floor. You've got a lovely stable position. 
arms can either come out to that T position or we can reach them up. We're going to do four in each direction. So stabilize through the abs. Deep breath and we lower the leg down. Big circle around and exhale up one. Good. Remember you can bend the knee if you need to. Make the circle smaller if you need to. Two more that direction. Good. Lovely stabilization, guys. Beautiful. Keep pointing through those toes if you can. We flex and reverse. We're going to open. Now we're flexing through the foot. That's it. Excellent. Really, really good. Good, good control. Three more. That focus. Breathing in. Exhaling to lift. And one more of those. Yeah, very nice control. Good, good, good. Now we're going to point that foot. We're going to draw the body up. We're going to take the calf. And remember, if you need a bit of a bend, no problem. We flex the foot of our underneath foot and we slice that ball up. Then drag it back in one. Inhale, push it up. Drag it back in two. Two more times. Deep breath as you extend. And exhale. One more deep breath in. Lovely. Now press down into the floor. Press that foot into the ball. Bring the hands down to the mat. And then push that and just lift your bottom a few inches off the floor. And we hold for five, four, three, two. Exhale, release it down. Good job, guys. Just windscreen wiper those knees. Well done. Really nicely done. Just take a moment. Take a deep breath. Very 
through that spine. Really curling back, push that spine back behind you as slowly as possible. Good, good, good. If you're there already, take your deep breath in to sit back up. Inhale and exhale to sit in up tall. Good. Yeah, and then reaching that ball up. Good, curling over. That's it. Take that long push back with the spine and curling back down. I'm going to feel the spine slowly imprinting into the mat. Like, a, like if you had a piece of tape, slowly lowering it down. That's it. Nice, everybody. Last one of these. Really deep breath in. Exhale to sit up tall. Good, find that top spine and then curl the legs up forward. Just bend your knees here and just take a little release of that back. Really good job, guys. Yeah, take a moment there. Good, just have a breather. Okay, we're going to stay in a seated posture. So, just making sure you always want to measure that you've got two fists between your feet for this one. And just watch those knees. We want to try to keep them in line with our hips. So sitting up nice and tall to start. And then we're going to curl ourselves back to that C curve. Maybe just bring your feet a little closer towards you for comfortable. Yeah. And we're going to take the ball into our right hand. We're going to open our right hand back behind us. Reaching the ball all the way back. And then exhale, bring it back forward, switching sides. Deep breath in, twisting and reaching it all the way back. And then exhale, back in. Nice. Just a few more of these, just to really get those obliques switching on. So as you twist, stay as long as you can. Really twist it back. Nice, nice, nice. Now you're going to take that ball and place it between the knees. You're out there, lovely. Squeeze that ball as tight as you can, and we continue the same movement with the arms, with the ball in between the legs now. So deep breath in, we reach that right arm back. And exhale, we squeeze forward. Good. Deep breath in. Nice, everybody. And exhale. One more each side. Keep squeezing that ball. Beautiful, guys. Yeah, lovely work. Really nice. Good. Now hold it here. Turn your palms down. Come into the tips of your toes and squeeze the ball like you want to burst the ball. Pull those inner thighs active. Just maybe hover those feet. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale, just ease it down. Have a little breather. Very nicely done. Yeah, do anything we need to do. Just have a moment. Maybe stretch the legs out. We're going to come back into that same posture in a minute. So have a nice little breath. Really good alignment, everyone. The front alignment's looking really strong, which is good. Okay, let's go back into that same one. So, feet between the distances apart. We're going to scoot back with the ball now, moving back in the hands. Yeah, good. Now, you're going to take the ball into your left hand to bring your right hand down like, to face, and then you're in that claw position with that hand. Yeah, you're going to take a deep breath and we're going to lower a bit further down. Now you're going to stretch the right leg towards the ball. That's it. You're going to bring the ball down to tap the leg. Oh, sorry, it's my left leg. And then reach it up above the head. That's it. So tap it down. <laughs> and then reach it back up. And then tap it down. These slippery balls. We need to re recover the balls, babe. That's it. Two more. Your legs are just working. And one more. Nice. Good. Now hold it here. Take the ball up to the side. Tap it down. And then lift it back up. Inhale to the side. And two more. You've got it, guys. Beautiful balancing. Amazing. One more. Good, good, good. Draw yourself up. Oh, and have a little breather. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. A little bit more grip on the ball. Because you want to sort of try and use your arm muscles a little bit there. Not much, but just a little bit more grip. Really squeeze the ball. And we'll do that on the other side. Good ladies, that one's a half one, well done. So, we reset ourselves up, two fists between the feet, we're going to curl ourselves back, and moving on to the other side. So, other hand, this is just to stay nice and secure with our alignment, we're just pressing down there, then we're going to lift the same leg as the ball, and then we're going to lift the arm up. Good, we tap it down, and we lift, beautiful. Now, 
as you lift that arm back, see if you can reach a bit further back. Yes. And as much as you can, you want to straighten through that knee. Yes, two more. Nice. Squeeze that ball a little bit for me, guys. Squeeze the ball. Good, good, good. Now lower back, test your balance. Go a bit further back if you can. We go to the side. And exhale. Yes, keep breathing. Yeah, really nice control. Yes, you've got one more. One more. Good, good, good. And then ease it down. Well done. Really good. Just roll yourself over, my love, please. And take a nice child's pose. And just take a moment like that. You feel nice on your hip. Really good work, guys. Behind the knee, I'm going to squeeze it in. 
Yeah. Bring yourself into your nice triangle arm posture. So lovely grip with those arms. Press down through the forearm and bring your knees to touch. Squeezing the abdominals up into the spine, bracing through that abdominal wall. We're going to push the foot up behind us and exhale, bring it down. And then we're opening out to that little side lift and down. Good. Deep breath in, we lift. And exhale. And side. And lower. Good. Inhaling. And exhaling. And uh, nice and smooth. Beautiful, guys. Keep squeezing through the core, pressing down through the forearms. Nice. One more set. Good, ladies. Beautiful work. Next time we're going to push up behind us. Flex your foot and squeeze that ball as hard as you can. And then I just want you to lift that position. Little tiny baby lifts. Pushing that foot up into the roof. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Gentle breathing. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Point the foot now. Squeeze the ball. Bring the knee back down and then open it out to the side. And then squeeze the ball as hard as you can. And we're just holding that side position. Bring it down through the chest. We hold, hold, hold. Exhale, bring it down. Release the ball and push yourself back. Good job. Take a breath. So the more we squeeze that ball into the knee, we're going to really activate that hamstring. Getting really strong through the back of those legs. Really nice knee alignment, everyone. Good. Okay, let's do that for a second set. So again, find that little crevice. And a nice supportive upper body. Keep measuring those shoulders, like staying completely square over the arms, yeah? Squeeze the belly in. We're going to lift the right leg up. Deep breath in. And exhale down. And inhale, side. And we lower. Inhale, squeeze. And exhale. Inhale, side. And lower. Deep breath in, and down, inhale, reach, good, keep squeezing through the back of those knees, nice, two more, and down, belly back pulling into the spine, good, push this next one up at the top, squeeze, flex the foot, try and squeeze that ball in and tie the little pulse lips, that's it, keep steady breath there. Good. Point the foot, bring that knee down, and we're going to squeeze that ball. If you open that to the side, and we squeeze and hold that position. Really try and burst the ball with your leg. Hold, 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 and ease it down. Good job, guys. Take yourself back into that child's pose. Release yourself down. Nice, guys. Nice. 
Hold it up here, hold it up here. Squeeze that position, squeeze the ball, lift that leg. That's it, three more breaths. And two, good. One, and then ease it down. Good, keep that leg up if you can. Nice, now you're gonna bend your underneath leg forward. And then we're gonna make like a 90 degree angle here. So 90 degree angle, good. Flex your feet this time. And then this one we should be able to push a little bit further back. And then exhale down. Yeah, inhale, squeeze to push back. So working on hip rotation here. You're gonna get to a point where it feels like it can't go. Squeeze your bottom and really push it back. Good, for two. And one. Nice, now just lower this one down. Take this one back up to the top. Sorry, one more extra one there. And then squeeze the ball. Try and burst the ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze for five, four, three, two, one. And then just release it down. Good job, guys. Just give your hip a little tap. Yeah, it's a little easier. Nice. And we're going to take the ball now. And we're going to just do a tiny bit of inner thighs. So you're going to just take it. Uh, let's. Ah, yeah, let's take it, sorry, in front of you. Top leg's going to rest on the ball like this. We're going to work that inner leg. So try to not let this foot flop down, flop down if you can. Try to still keep it active, that's it. And then we're stretching through the underneath knee. And we're just going to lift that leg up and exhale lower. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And exhale. Good. Inhale, squeeze and lift. Lovely. Yeah. Keeping it as straight as possible. And we're still using our abs, we're still pulling into that center, bracing that abdominal wall for five, three, sorry, four, three. <laughs> Back to school for you, Ella. Okay. Yeah, you were happy with that mistake. Hold it up there, guys. Hold that last one, lift a little higher. Flex the foot, push that heel up, squeeze and lift. And exhale, ease it down. Nice, everybody. Take yourself into a little stretch. Just reach the arms back. And we'll do that all on the second side. Nicely done, everyone. Good, just take a full breath. And then when you're ready, just ease yourself over to the second side. And then whatever you did on the first side with your hands, just give the same on that second side. And then taking the ball underneath the knee again of that top leg. Yeah, underneath leg. You can have it a little bent if you need to, or straighten it out if possible. Yeah. Then we want to bring that foot as close to that knee as we can. Yeah, and then we're going to lower that leg forward. And then exhale, bring it up. Good. Inhale, forward. Now, as we bring it forward, nothing else is moving. So we're squeezing that core to keep everything else still. Yeah, nice, 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 everybody. Squeeze and lower. And exhale. Two more of these. Good. Nice, everyone. Good, now we're gonna draw that knee a little bit closer towards our side body. And we're gonna lift that underneath leg. And then exhale, lower. Lift the underneath leg. And exhale, lower. Inhale, squeeze it up. Burst the ball, squeeze the muscles. 
and exhale, release. Good job, guys. Very, very good. Just give it a little punch. And then we're going to take the ball, keep it forward, actually. And then the top leg is going to rest on the ball. Remember, we want to keep that underneath leg, uh, that top leg lifted slightly, not flopping down. And then stretch that underneath leg long. Good. Inhale, we're going to lift. And exhale, we lower. Inhale, squeeze and lift. And exhale. Using that core to brace that posture. And good. Squeeze it up. And exhale. Squeeze and lift. Exhale. Three more. Two. Good. One. Nice. Take this one up. Flex the foot. Push that heel up. Hold, hold, hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. And done guys just roll onto your back have a little stretch there good we're going to do a little side plank with the ball so we'll stay on that side and then we'll come back to the first side so just ease yourself back over to that side and then coming on to the forearm we'll brace the um, into a fist with that underneath hand or place it down and then just hold your ball sort of in front of your body to start. Now the variation, obviously if you need to, you can keep those knees down on the floor. That's no worries at all. Otherwise we're stretching the legs long. We're going to take a deep breath in and then exhale. We're going to push up into that side plank. Now you can have your feet also one in front of the other if that feels better. Harder version is going to be stacked. We're going to take that ball up towards the ceiling. Deep breath in as we exhale. We're going to bring it off the mat. Tap the twist through your obliques and draw it back up. Deep breath in and exhale. Yeah, two more like this. Pressing down through that forearm, dropping the knees if you need. Nice. One more. Hold it up here. Push out of that side body. One more breath and then gently ease it down. Nicely done, guys. Just take a stretch away from that side. Just reaching over. And then take the ball into that top hand, swing those legs around, and we will do that on that second side. Again, just dro dropping those knees if you need to, just keeping that nice and safe. So deep breath in, we press down through the forearm, press down through the hand on the ball, and find your side plank variation, either with your feet on top or stacked one in front of the other. Inhale, tap the ball off the mat, squeeze through your obliques, and exhale, pull it up. Inhale, twist and breathe. Beautiful, guys. Nice. Two more. Inhale, squeeze. And exhale. Last one of those. Nice. Hold it here. Now we're going to do a sneaky little transition. You're going to bring that ball down. You're going to come onto the balls of your feet and find yourself in your forearm plank, holding that ball. Good. Tuck that pelvis. Put it through the shoulders. Drop the knees if you need. Otherwise, we're holding it for five. Four, three, two, and exhale, ease it down. Nice work, everybody. Good stuff. Take a breath. Once you've had a breath in your belly, roll over onto your back for the final little push before we cool down, guys. Doing well. Take a really big breath. And then we're going to place that ball between our knees. But before we come into our roll up, we'll just do a few of our pelvic floor articulation exercises. So take your thumbs and just push your thumbs into your lower leg, like, close to your ribs, lower rib cage there. And then take your fingers and place them onto your hips. So we're going to take a deep breath in and we're going to close that gap between our hips and our ribs. We imprint our spine and we draw that belly down. We tuck through the pelvis. As we exhale, we're going to push the hips away. So we take a little bit of space between our lower back and the floor. Deep breath in, we're going to curl. We're going to decrease that area. Close our hips towards our ribs. Squeeze there. That's it. And then push it away. Nice. Now just ease your hands down to the side of your mat. Squeeze your ball and then bring your feet a little closer towards the bottom. And find that tucking motion again and roll yourself up to your bridge. 
So we find that full peak bridge position. We want to really push the hips up and press down into the head. Come onto the balls of the feet and squeeze that ball as hard as you can and then gently release. Two more times. Squeeze it as hard as you can and then gently release. One more. Squeeze as hard as you can and then release. Good. Holding it there. Reach the arms up above the head now. We're going to reach the arms back and then exhale, draw them back up. Now as you reach the arms back, you're gonna lower your bottom halfway down, and then exhale, squeeze to push up. Inhale, lower halfway down, and exhale, squeeze to push up. Three more times, inhale, halfway down, exhale, squeeze to lift, and two, and up. And last one, deep breath. Exhale, push. Bring your hands all the way down. Lower yourself down, rolling down. And then as soon as you feel your bottom hit the ball, remove the ball and take a windscreen wiper. Excellent, guys. Just breathe that. Well done. Okay, last exercise before our cool down. We're going to take rocking, sorry, rolling like a ball with the ball. So you're going to take the ball between, back between your knees, yeah? And we're going to start with our hands underneath and then we're going to try and remove our hands to make it a bit harder today. So, just taking a few rolls up and down is fine. Good. Now on your third one, you're going to come up, squeeze and hold that position and see if you can just stretch the arms and the legs. That's it, beautiful. Bend it down and we roll again. Deep breath in one and the deck is and two, the third one we're going to come up. So this next one we're going to come up. We hold that position, we reach everything along. Beautiful guys. Now the last two sets, you can do it without holding onto your knees if you want to try that. Good. Third one we're going to hold at the top. We're going to squeeze everything, we're going to reach. Nice. Here's your last set of this guys, last set. And then we stretch. Keep breathing too. Last one, feel that core, reach and hold, breathe hold for three, for two, and ease it down. Excellent work, my friend, well done. Really good job, just take a deep breath. Really nice. Okay, let's move into our stretch and cool down, everybody. So, first one we're gonna do is actually gonna take the ball between the shoulder blades, and just like, Kind of wiggle yourself around a little bit. Once you feel comfortable, just take your arm and start to reach your arms back. It's a really nice one for the shoulders and the chest. If this does not feel like good, just, just remove the ball and just do this stretch without the ball. And then if you feel comfortable there, you can start to lengthen those legs out. Ease the arms out to the side and just feel that nice opening. Extending through the sternum and the chest. Good. And then just gently shift your body to one side as you just remove that ball gently. And then we'll take that one that we did earlier, just before we get rid of the ball, just take it back underneath your bottom. And then once you're comfortable there, just ease those legs out. Bye, my lovely. Have a nice stretch. Reach the arms back. Open through the hip flexors again. And then very gently just remove that ball, put it to the side of you, and we'll move into our stretches. Okay, so just take your right leg and cross it over your left leg, so you're opening that right knee out to the side. And then you can either stay here and take like a little shift from side to side, or scoop through and take a little bit of a deep stretch into your arms. Whatever feels good to your body, maybe you just want to stay down here. Okay, and then you're going to ease that foot down and you're going to take that foot to the outside of your body and then start to draw down into the quad. If that one is 
uncomfortable for your knees, just skip that. And then once you're sort of settled, you can reach those arms back, open through the chest. Big 
exhale. And you're done. Great work, guys. Smash it with the balls. Good job. My favorite was like when they just came.